Welcome, everyone, to a Big Ten Network off-season chat. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Paul Mulcahy from Rutgers. How do we know he's from Rutgers? Well, he's got New Jersey on the hat, so clearly he is definitely supporting the state school of New Jersey, Rutgers. Uh, Paul, you guys had a, I think, an extremely positive season. Um, I actually picked you to knock off Houston. Uh, you almost did, and you beat Clemson. Uh, so before we go forward and deal with what's happening here in the offseason and, 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 and the roster and everything, I just want you to help me put a bow on, you know, because you would have been back in the tournament a year ago, didn't have one. You finally get in this season, and you're within a whisker of potentially pulling off that upset and getting to the Sweet 16. Uh, yeah, I mean, given everything that it was, uh, COVID and just dealing with a lot throughout the season, um, I'm happy how the guys persevered. And, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for the school. A lot of people were excited. Uh, it was cool to be able to play in front of fans for a little bit uh, towards the end of the year. But uh, I'm really proud of how the guys persevered through everything. So. And what does it mean to you that that even though we know that that team in 2020 would have been the first since 91, your group was the first since 91 yeah. to physically play in the tournament? Yeah, it, it was it was really cool. Uh, I mean, we had a great I had a great senior class my freshman year with a uh, quasi Joey and Shaq. Um, and the way the way that they went out just didn't sit right with a lot of us. So, I mean, we talked to all of them throughout the year. They were checking in with coach, uh, but we wanted to kind of redeem them as well. And they, they felt like they were a part of it too, which was cool. So look, I've always said the rack is one of my five favorite places. Um, it wasn't the same. I was there for your game against Maryland two seasons ago, uh, which was incredible. Um, let's hope, I anticipate it's going to come back and be a full rack uh, next season. What'd you miss by not having that? Uh, me personally, I just miss my family. Uh, I, I had a bunch of family at my freshman year coming to the games. Uh, obviously the atmosphere is like no other. Um, it's my favorite place to play. Obviously. Um, we miss the fans. People were excited. Um, I think we're going to have a really exciting team. And I think people are kind of just waiting to be able to let them in the doors and, and get it going at the rack. So. I mean, how many points do you think it's worth? Is it five? Is it three? Is it more? uh defensively i think it, it gives us probably between like six to eight points i'd say on defense so well certainly the record showed that i mean michigan was the only one that clipped you there um two yeah. seasons ago um all right so i can see we've got a splint uh you play i i, I guess you should tell me I, I think i got a nose uh you know go through the litany of things that you played through uh over the last year uh, last year was tough. Everybody's got their went through a lot of a lot of different things. Me, uh, I broke my nose. Um, I dislocated my finger before the season, and then it kind of just got worse. And then I, I recently I got surgery like a month ago, um, but I should be ready to go in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and then every, everyone got banged up though, but it was a long season physically for me, probably the longest I've ever had. So, but ultimately. Once that heals, you're feeling good. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you were like Mr. Glue. Um, next season, there's probably going to be more on your shoulders. You, Cliff Amore, um, Kayla McConnell, um, you guys are sort of the core three um, coming back. We don't know about Geo Baker and Ron Harper Jr. They could come back. Uh, so give me the with and without what, Rutgers will look, will look like because I know it's early it's still May but we're still not sure what we're gonna see uh yeah I mean re regardless honestly I think we're gonna win uh I think we're gonna play extremely hard I think we're gonna play together um I think we're gonna play for each other um we don't know about those two guys we'd love for them to come back obviously um if they if they choose to you know turn pro we're support them and, and the guys that we have in the locker room are are ready to play uh dudes have been working out a lot um since the season ended and a lot of guys are excited to get on the court and, and, and play for Rutgers and play for each other so and in what way uh do you think you can be a more impactful player next season uh 
I mean, I, I've got two years under my belt, uh, and it was probably the best two years the Big Ten has been. You would know better than me, but that's what people were saying. So, so I've seen a lot. Um, I feel like I, I've been through a, a, a bunch of different obstacles, and, and going into next year, uh, I think my teammates believe in me. I'm going to play hard and, and just play to win. Um, but I'm excited for, for, for next year for sure. All right, Paul. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, get healthy, and we look forward to watching you certainly next season. All right. Thank you.